we can't forget to thank the Masonic Lodge. They have handed over this building to us every year for as long as I can remember. We come in on Friday and start setting up the tables and unloading inventory and taking the donations in. Um, and they, they really just turn over this incredible space to us year after year for about a week. Um, we could not do it without them and their generous support. So thank you to the Masonic Lodge. Well, that brings me to a question. How many clients will you serve? Uh, we had, the last count was 302 families will be coming through today and tomorrow. Um, so we have, I think we have six shoppers per shift so that we can just um, move people through. And so everyone has it, you know, all the time they need to look at stuff, but uh, it's, it's, the, it's the biggest we've ever had. And it's the most clients we've ever served at a giving shop. So uh, we're, we're kind of pushing ourselves man-wise uh, as far as manning the, the shopping, but we'll, we'll make it work. So well, I'm just on stupid math, but 300 times three. I, <laughs> at three o'clock this morning, I started trying to do the math and decided I didn't want to know. <laughs> about how many adults and children uh, will be, will benefit? Well, three, I, you, I would say the average is probably three to four because we yeah. do have some families. We have a number of families that are six and over. Uh, but like the woman I just shopped with, it was just her and her husband. Yeah. So you're probably averaging three or four per family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, where'd you get all this wonderful stuff? We have a wonderful community. Uh, we have the giving trees in some of the businesses and uh, some of the churches and temple. Um, I, for instance, Bethesda North has a wonderful nursing group that every year they do kids pajamas. So I went and picked those up Friday after I worked at the pantry. Uh, and for a lot of a lot of the businesses and a lot of groups like that, um, from what they tell me, this is like the kickoff to the holiday season. You know, you know how giving feels so nice. Mm -hmm. uh, they all rally together. They collect the kids' pajamas, and um, it, it gets everyone in the spirit. So yeah, this is all donations. Um, some of it is when we do find that we have a gap in something that we like sizes for for the clothing. Um, the monetary contributions we get at the pantry, we, we can do some shopping to fill in the gaps to make mm -hmm. sure that everyone who comes will find some piece of clothing or a pair of pajamas that is size appropriate for them. And then the kids, you know, of course, you have everything from infant newborns all the way up to, you know, high school. So uh, the clothing and then we have socks and underwear. Everyone in the family can get socks and underwear. Um, tops and bottoms we have pajamas and yeah it's it's pretty amazing so here we have all the toys you can see every family gets two toys per child uh, we have games and crafts depending on you know what the kid likes to do for the uh, the adults we have the um, household table in the other room it has everything from air fryers to uh, comforters and skillets and tool sets i mean it's a little bit of something you can find what you want there's pl plenty of options do you do any of the children come in and shop no Usually, so they, they're not shopping for parents or grandparents no. it's just the parents don't bring the children correct they're shopping for children and correct so We've been signing people up for today for about the last month, and uh, most of them want to come shopping when the children are at school so they can go mm -hmm. home and get it, uh, get things hidden. We do also give them wrapping paper when they leave, I so if they that. want to wrap stuff before the kids get home, uh, they have all the supplies they need for that. Yeah. Yeah. My, my father once hid presents in the trunk of the car. And we found the, we found the gifts. Oh. That's when I discovered there wasn't a sound. <laughs> Well, my dad was a saint, my mom and dad. <laughs> well, funny story, years ago, my husband and I, we hid a Barbie house out in the shed that has a sliding door and we had freezing rain. So once the kids were in bed, we went out to try to get the toys and the door was frozen. So I had to take my blow dryer out, <laughs> but you make it work, Was right? that Christmas Eve? Yep. <laughs> oh, like 11 o'clock Christmas Eve. <laughs> Memories. Hey, what else would you like to tell people? The community. Just, the community is is so amazing um, to make sure that everyone is is going to have a good Christmas. It's one of those things that you know you want kids to have toys under the tree and you want them to have you know some new clothes and 
new pajamas. Pajamas, I always got my kids pajamas for Christmas Eve. Um, and it just brings some normalcy to families that are struggling right now, um, that they don't feel like they're missing out on such an important time of year. Yeah. Spreading the joy. Hey, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Thank you so Happy much. Happy holidays. Too. Thanks, David. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome.